e Oh my gosh, this level is so hard. This level is so easy. Okay, so the game that I'm in right now is called The Dropper, and you pretty much jump down, avoid the obstacles, and this is too easy. So I'm gonna remake it from scratch, but way harder. I'm not even moving. I'm not even moving. I'm in a game that you may have heard about. Oops, I fell. The reason why I'm playing Tower of Heck is because we're gonna take their ideas. They got rid of checkpoints, which makes people rage and dislike the game, but you know what? I like that idea. They also changed the map, which is really cool. And there's also a bar on the right side that shows you how much progress you've made. So that's pretty much what my game is going to be. It's gonna be a couple of things from Tower of Heck, a couple of things from the Dropper minigame, and I'm gonna combine those to make Dropper Heck. I'm so sad. I am so sad. I'm so sad. Guess what time it is? It's dev time! I want this game to be silky smooth like a rock. To do that, I made it so that I can control the gravity. Wow! So you can control how fast they go. Right now I'm going normal speed, and then I slow it down. Look at how slow I'm going right now. <laughs> oh, I sped it up! Controlling the speed is really cool. I'm gonna show you the gravity script in 3, 2, 1. It's terrible. So this script uses math, and I do not know math. But there's this really smart guy that said, if you don't know math, type random numbers and hope that it works. And I did that in every single one of my math classes, and I passed every single one with a 50. And that's also what I did with this script. I, I added a random number and it works. It actually works. And if you guys want to learn how to be a pro scripter, <laughs> then you can check out my scripting course in the description. It's free for two months. It's my first scripting course. I put a lot of effort into it. So please check it out. In three seconds, the map is gonna change. Oh, let's go, let's go. This is my favorite. There's also no checkpoints, so if you die, you're back at the start. I feel like the Tower of Heck developers didn't even know how to make a checkpoint. They're just like, no checkpoints. And bam, they made a front page game. The map. This is by far the best invention on all of Roblox because I love to watch people get one centimeter away from the top and then die. So of course, I had to add it in to my own Tower of Heck. All right, I'm done, no checkpoints, progress bar, map change because cool, give up on- Oh, oh, that's for the end, so we can do that later. Shop for shopping, that's up next. Now I made the shop, how do you open it? Get God to summon it for you? No, there's a button right here, boom! It shows your money, 1000 cents, just like real life. There's a few effects, let's say you're running out of time, plus 60 seconds, just like that. If you're finished and you wanna screw other people over, Get the two times timer. Ever wondered what it would be like to be blind? Get the darkness. Now you can't see. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I can't, I couldn't see. Look at this guy, this guy is way too big. 250 coins, now I'm small. Hey, there's also other stuff in the shop. If you come over here, you could see that there's a list. Let's see the next one soon. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go to money, all right? You can buy money here. 900 Robux. Robux, oh. Robux. <laughs> Yo, doing that hurt my voice. There's also points. Holy moly, skill points. Wait a minute. I newbie, did you add skills? Yeah, I did. Let's buy some of these. There you go. Here's the menu. So you have four different skills to train. You've got anti-gravity, you've got movement, force field, and recover. Hold on, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm back, we got a million skill points, let's go, let's upgrade. Okay, so I got 100 anti-gravity, you know what that means? There's no gravity anymore. <laughs> I was gonna add a limit, I was gonna make it so that you can like, only bring it up to 20, but you know what? No limits, you can make it anything you want. Let's go over 100 gravity. Now whenever you jump down, you actually jump up. <laughs> Help me, I'm stuck up here. The force field, so this one is actually good. It protects you from one thing, so it's like you have two lives. So if you're bad at the game like me and you, you, you try and dodge this but you accidentally hit it, you're still alive. Oh no. 
Okay, never mind. You, you die to another thing after your force field is gone. So I created a few obstacles, as you can see, and I'm just gonna complete it. There's actually more obstacles, those were just like 8 out of the 18 in the game. The game feels pretty smooth, so I decided to run sponsors on the game. Phone, computer, tablet, each one got a thousand robux bid. That should be enough to get a few players into the game and see how they like it. This was devastating. People found the game way too hard. Look, this guy right here typed this is hard and the guy above him, I think he wrote like this is hard and squiggly lines or something. The dislikes were going like crazy. You could see like X's on the map, right? That's where people die, and they're all dying at the start. And guess what? This is after I made the game easier, so people are still struggling. So this is where the game stands today. That is sad. I was expecting at least 100 concurrent players, but... I made it way too hard. Even the easy version is too hard. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could bring it back, but not in this episode. This is the dropper, and you can see that there's like actual like cars in the way and stuff like that. And I could do that to my game. I could also like give people three lives, do other stuff like that, just to make it easier. So let's actually take a look at the game's stats, okay? This is gonna be pretty interesting. So this right here is how many visits we get in a day. Whenever we advertise it, about like 3.5k. After the ads were gone, 800. Now most of my games have at least a 10 minute average visit length, usually like 15 minutes, 12 minutes and stuff like that. Guess how much this one had? <laughs> it makes people mad. It makes them angry. So it has a, a three minute average length. This video has taken a very sad turn, I know. We made some Robux. We made 500 on the first day, 500 on the second day, 360. This is today. Who knows how much Robux we're gonna make today? Maybe a million Robux? Yeah, I don't think so. This game has gone nowhere. At least we got like two Robux from premium payouts. Yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just give up on life and move to Aruba. But you know what? This is a great lesson. Think about it, if I made a prototype, tested it with different people, I would have known that the game was way too hard a long time ago. Even you can test it, you can test the games that I make. Check out the Discord link in the description below, I usually announce it there. So for every game that I make now, I'm gonna prototype it and test it with random people. Get their feedback, make sure it's spot on. This was very sad. One month of my life, gone. Hey, make sure to turn on notifications if you like game development videos, join the Discord, and this video made me very sad, so I'm gonna go to sleep, and I hope I don't wake up.